and you definitely don't want that to happen, right? I mean, that's crazy. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Mary Kate and I'm a mindset coach, manifesting expert, and founder of mkmagicmindset.com. My channel is all about law of attraction, manifesting, meditations, and more. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Today's video is all about what you should not do when trying to manifest a specific person or your ex. I find that the two most popular things that people are trying to manifest when using the law of attraction are relationships and money. The reason why things like money and relationships are so popular is because we have such a strong emotional attachment to them. Having or not having money affects the way we feel, it affects the way we operate, it affects the way we live. Having a certain relationship or not having a certain relationship or just being broken up with or breaking up with someone, that all affects us on such a strong emotional level. So because these are such emotionally charged topics, there tends to be a little bit more resistance. I wanna start off this video with a technique to get you into the energy of consciously creating what you want. So be sure to pause this video really quick and grab a paper and pen and we can get started. Now that you have your pen and paper, let's jump into it. First, I want you to just close your eyes, quiet your mind, and just kind of allow your mind and thoughts to simply slow down. Now I want you to focus on the essence of the relationship that you wish to attract into your life. How does it make you feel? What does it look like? What do you do on Friday nights? What feels fulfilling about this relationship? Does this person support your dreams? Does this person build you up? What is the essence of this specific person that makes you want them in your life? What do they provide for you? What feelings do they provide for you? Just sit in that for a moment and when you're ready, Open your eyes. Now I want you to write down what that person provides for you. What feelings came up when you thought about that specific person or that ex that you're thinking about? What came up for you? What do they provide for you? What feelings and essence and how do they enrich your life and make it better? What do they provide for you? Take a minute and write it down. Take as long as you need, just pause this video. So what you have on paper right in front of you is exactly what you intend to create. When we manifest things, what we really want to focus on is the essence of what that would bring to you. What feeling would it bring to you if you manifested that specific thing you want? It is never about the thing. It's always about the feeling that thing would provide for you. When you're trying to manifest money, you're not just trying to manifest pieces of paper that's constantly being printed by your banks. That's not what you're trying to manifest. You are trying to manifest the freedom to spend as you want, to provide for your kids, to provide for yourself, to buy food, buy hotels, buy vacations. You're, you're trying to create a feeling with the money. So when you're focused on a relationship, you want to focus on the essence of what that relationship would provide to you, what you think that person will provide to you. And now you have that on paper and you felt it. So now you're on the path to becoming an energetic match to bring that relationship into your life. There is such a thing as timing. I'm not going to go too deep into that today. If that's something you want me to do another video on, leave me a comment below and let me know. But today I just want to focus on manifesting a specific person or your ex. So we're just going to stay with that. Now, what I'm about to tell you might actually be a little bit unpopular because I'm sure you came here for a reason to manifest that specific person or your ex. And I know you. there's probably a million law of attraction videos you could look up right now with people telling you exactly step by step how you can manifest your ex or how you can manifest that specific person. But what I'm about to tell you goes against that. So listen closely. Don't try to manifest that specific person or your ex. Don't ever, 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 ever do it. So why am I saying that? because there is a huge concept that you need to understand and this will change your life and make it so much better. So you're just gonna have to go with me on this one. Here is the concept you need to understand. You don't know what you don't know. What do I mean by that? Obviously you don't know what you don't know. I sounds like kind of like an oxymoron, but that's not where we're going with this. You don't know what you don't know. So what I mean by that is you don't know if that specific person 
is right for you. You don't know if that specific person is meant for your highest potential. You don't know if that specific person is going to enrich your life and help you follow your dreams and be there as you build up your life the way you want it. You don't know if that person is meant to be a part of your life and you don't know if you are meant to be part of their specific journey. So first off, let's talk about how everybody has their own journey. I get asked all the time if you can manifest things for somebody else, but I don't like to think of it that way because every single person is on their own journey. So you can't manifest something for someone else unless they want it to. You can't try and take control of somebody else's journey. Focus on your journey. Focus on the essence of what you want in a relationship and stop focusing on that specific person or your ex because they're on their own journey and maybe your journeys line up, but maybe they don't. You don't know what you don't know. You don't know if there's someone way better out there for you. And I know that's kind of a hard thing to wrap your head around when you're so emotionally attached to that specific person or to that ex. I get it because I'm a very stubborn person. One of my favorite mantras is I can have whatever I want. And I do truly believe that you can have whatever you want. But when it comes to other people and affecting other people and other people's journeys, I think it's best to focus on the essence of what you want. And if it's, if that person's meant to be in your life, the universe will make it happen. The universe is always working behind the scenes, doing things that we can't necessarily see and we don't know what's going on. But there has to be some level of trust in focusing on the energy that you wish to attract into your life and letting the universe do its thing. The right person will come at the right time into your life and it might be even better than what you thought you wanted. I tell everybody, I tell all of my clients, I've said it in other videos, always ask for this or better. So if you are so emotionally attached and so emotionally charged to this specific person, then fine, why don't you ask for that person or better? Because what you're doing is you're focusing on the essence of what you want, what that perverse person provides for you. Whatever you wrote down in that exercise, is what you want to call into your life. So instead of trying to control it, which in fact blocks things from coming to you, instead of trying to make that happen or make that person want you or get that relationship back because you thought it was right for you, let go of the reins and surrender. Surrendering is such a huge part of the law of attraction. Without surrendering, you can't be open to receiving. If you're holding on so tight and grasping onto something, How do you expect to let anything come into your life? You have to let the energy flow and you have to be free and you have to be open to receiving what's meant to be in your life. But as long as you're putting out the energetic frequency of the feeling and the essence of what that thing would provide to you, you will always attract what you want or better. So my point of this video is to let go. Let go right now. Stop obsessing. Stop thinking about. Stop trying to force that specific person or that ex into your life because that might have an opposite effect. That might lead you down a path you weren't meant to go. That might alter the course of both of your lives and you might not end up happy. And what we want out of life is to reach our highest potential and accomplish all of our goals and dreams. So you want someone who is going to build you up and be on that path with you to create the lives you want. On our journey, people come in and out of our lives, and I believe that each relationship, each person that you meet every day, everybody plays a role in your life. Everybody came into your life for a reason, for a purpose. There was a lesson. So even if you've had negative relationships in the past, or even if you haven't had much luck in dating, and even if you haven't had the best examples of what a partner could be, it doesn't mean that it's not gonna happen for you. It just means that you need to tap into the essence of what you want and release control and allow it to come to you. Like I said, there is the aspect of timing that goes into a whole nother realm. But for now, you just need to surrender and focus on the essence of what you want and stop focusing on that specific person or that ex. I mean, you wouldn't want this person to come into your life if they weren't meant to be there. I mean, that's crazy, right? You wouldn't want that to happen. So focus on the feelings that you want and live in the fact that it's on its way to you and just be present moment to moment and just be happy in the moment now. And the more gratitude you can express, the more things to be grateful for will come into your life. So 
You don't know what you don't know. Let go of that person. Don't try and manifest your ex or a specific person. Don't do it because you're limiting yourself. You always want what you want or better. And there might be someone way, 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 way better. And you never know. So let it happen and just relax a little and release that grip because the more you grip onto it, the harder it's going to be to be open to receiving it. And I get it. Like I said, I know it's hard when you're really emotionally charged about something. If it's a fresh breakup, if you just went through something and you aren't together anymore, or if you really have just been looking for a relationship for a, relationship for a long time, I understand the frustration and the emotional attachment to it and the feelings surrounding it. But the more you can clear out those feelings and identify what those feelings are that you have about relationships, anything that's blocking it from coming to you, try and switch those and get into a place of ease and flow and allow relationships to be easy and be optimistic about what can happen and everything could change in a minute. So it's time to surrender. Right now, choose to surrender and remind yourself, I attract this or better. If you agree with me, leave me a comment below. I attract this or better because it's true. When you open yourself up for better, the universe can exceed your wildest dreams. Trust me, I am proof of it. It's happened to me a million times. So you just have to let go and trust a little bit. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell notification so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And as always, leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. I like reading through all of them and replying to as many as I can. And be sure to check out my website, mkmagicmindset.com. There are tons of great programs. If you want to take your manifesting and your law of attraction to the next level, be sure to check it out. And I will see you in the next one.